this is a simple clay mixer uh, I made a few months ago. I was working uh, mixing uh, pre-moistened clay with graphite and other other ingredients to uh, make a graphite crucible. And I realized that graphite and clay is about like mixing, trying to mix oil with water. The two are completely different material. Graphite slick, clay is sticky. And I realized that I needed something to speed the process up. I happen to have most of everything you see. I had the pulleys and of course the one and a half horse m motor. And I just needed to make a uh, impeller and uh, it fit into this uh, cast iron uh, section of water pipe. It's really quite powerful. Now obviously with an open belt system, uh, if you've got anybody you know, like working in the shop around you or you have children, uh, this would not be safe. So when you store it, I recommend taking the belts off. Uh, that way the kid can't turn it on or anything. Also, when you get ready to pull the impeller out and all, it's always a good idea to simply unplug it even though it is turned off. Uh, that way nothing can go wrong. Because uh, these things, with this much reduction on this powerful engine, this thing could definitely do some damage if you accidentally turned on. So you don't want to be anywhere around it. And if you do have a situation with a lot of people, you need to make a, a weld-to-wire shield that covers the uh, open belt. And then we'll derail the belt. There's not a whole lot to it, really. Bolts off. what the impeller looks like. Uh, this part I had to make. I have a, a, a bronze bushing in here on the top. There is a dimple here uh, inside the uh, bottom of the uh, steel container which this uh, point right here rides in. As this, this is going to be subject to a lot of wear. As it wears I'll simply brace some brass on it and continue on uh, using it in that manner rather than trying to put uh, a proper uh, bearing in there. I'm afraid the sand would just wear it out very quickly. And it seems to work pretty good, you know, it's been so small, steel against steel. The impeller was a piece of pipe, and as you can see, I just, just took a piece of scrap steel and cut out a, cut out a section of the center, and I later used the, uh, the same uh, sections uh, also for an inner impeller. This is nothing but lawnmower blades, just a uh, bent lawnmower blades. I welded on there. Uh, designed to work counterclockwise, push everything in a downward direction. But uh, otherwise, it's very simple. Uh, very few wells. If you've got the uh, devices to reduce the motor and all, you can set this up. You can make one of these uh, with about any metal container. And if it's uh, maybe this uh, thin container, you could always consider casting concrete around the container, maybe, maybe embedding the bolts that you need to fasten everything together. It would give it a little extra weight so it wouldn't be bouncing around or tipping over. And uh, it really does just anything you can find, weld a steel a pipe with a steel bottom on it, anything like that. Should work just fine. And that's uh, one of the ingredients for the graphite crucible was a uh, borosilicate powdered borosilicate glass. And I couldn't find it on the internet, but I did manage to locate some scrap uh, lab work. and it turned this into this in a relatively short time so it, it's showing it has other uses. Uh, today what I would like to do is explore the possibilities of this working as a sand molder and uh, what I have here is the basic uh, white sand, play sand and this here is bentonite clay. It's actually sold as a clay type kitty litter. You can pick it up at pretty much any of the large uh, pet supply stores. So we'll mix this in the film. Uh, we'll add two of these and we'll add about half. Maybe I will try half. We're just going to play this by ear and as we need to we'll, uh, we'll adjust it with sand or clay or, or the water and all that. It's pretty simple. And see if I can get up about five gallon batch of this stuff for a relatively short order. 
and of course the water. Uh, otherwise, it'll produce a lot of dust. And it's going to be green sand anyway. It'll help in the mixing. Uh, bentonite clay has a, a remarkable ability to absorb a huge amount of water and expand. So that's one of it's interesting. You've heard, probably heard of drilling mud. Well, that is what drilling mud is made of. It's bentonite clay. So we'll just turn it on. This is what it looks like. This is one batch of mixers made. It's got a little too much water in it right now. It kind of has an olive green color to it. Uh, I'll have to determine, you know, from actually uh, making my coats and drags, whether it's uh, a little too sticky. I don't know. It's not bad. I mean, it's uh, definitely formable. I mean, I'd have a hard time doing this with just plain wet sand and get anything like this. So, it looks workable. Uh, so, we've got a clay mixer, glass pulverizer, and a sand mover. It's good because I, I like one machine instead of having a whole shop full of machines. <laughs>